Dear friends, it's a great pleasure to send these opening words to all of you who are gathered for the International Women's Conference in Tampere. The violence against women remains a global concern. Therefore, it is very important that we continue to work on this issue, as you will be doing during the coming days. According to World Bank data, Women aged um, 15 to 44 years old are more at risk from rape and domestic violence than from cancer, car accidents, war and malaria. And this has to change. Violence against women takes many forms, physical, sexual, psychological and economic. These forms of violence are interrelated and affect women in all ages. The costs of violence against women are extremely high. These costs include the direct costs, which uh, are cost of services to treat and support abused women and their children and to bring perpetrators to justice. But the costs also include indirect costs like lost employment and productivity and the costs of human pain and suffering. For more than 25 years, the global movement has worked to transform the place of women and the status of gender-based violence within the human rights discourse. In 1993, the World Conference on Human Rights in Vienna recognized that the human rights of women and of the girl child are an inalienable, integral and indivisible part of universal human rights. The same year, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Declaration on the Elimination of Violence Against Women. This provides a more comprehensive framework on violence against women. Since then, ending violence against women has become a priority for many member states, including Finland. Over the last decade, progress has been made regarding legislation of violence against women throughout the world. In May 2011, Finland signed the Council of Europe's Convention on Preventing and Combating Violence Against Women and Domestic Violence, and this is now in the process of ratification. We also have a national program on violence against women that was adopted in 2010. Finally, it was rather difficult to achieve. Finally, despite advances in the matter, much remains to be done. This is reflected in the continuous international efforts to raise awareness of the issue of violence against women. A good example of this is the United Nations worldwide campaign, Unite to End Violence Against Women. It was launched by the Secretary General Ban Ki-moon in 2008. And I was privileged to be present in New York when he launched the campaign by blowing into a small whistle and we all joined this alarm call for global action. Violence against women will also be the theme of the UN Commission on the Status of Women next year. In many countries, the legal framework for preventing violence against women is in place, but transforming this into action and change on the ground is where the real challenge lies, also in Finland. I would like to congratulate the Empowerment of African Women Organization for organizing this conference and for bringing together experts, researchers, advocates and practitioners in the field of violence against women to discuss this very important issue. Women's collective agency is an important factor for advancing legislation, policy and implementation of projects on ending violence against women. And women's organizations play a key role in this work. So, let me once again wish you a very inspiring and productive seminar. Thank you very much for your attention.